Hey everyone, I want to bring a quick one to you if I can. It's about flies. Yeah, last year I did a video on a Bug MD, I can't remember what it was called, Fly Zone. That's what it was. It was a light, supposed to track flies, stick them on a thing. Anyway, if you want to watch that, I'll leave a link in the description below. I didn't like it very well. I didn't think it worked all that well. But I came across something different recently, and it's this PT Alpine. It's a pressurized fly bait. I'm going to try it and see if it works. Like a lot of people this time of year in the summer, we get a lot of flies. We got grandkids that come over and they leave the door open and back. So flies come in. I have a dog, does his business in the backyard. I do try to clean that up most of the time daily, but at least every couple of days I clean that up. Uh, but that attracts flies. There's just so many things, uh, food in the house and things like that. And so I wanted to try this to see if it would help. It's supposed to attract and kill the flies. And it's a spray that you can spray on any non-porous surface. You can use index cards to put them up in different places, things like that if you wanted to, to hide them back behind stuff if you wanted. I'm going to try to spray this on some areas where the kids don't touch, the dog won't lick it, you know, things like that. And we're going to see how it works because I'll show you what I got right now in the house. So as you can see, Sonny just scared some away. I just made my lunch today. That's my lunch plate. So don't think it's been, been there very long. It hasn't. Um, there's a fly on it. There's another fly flying around it. There's another fly over there flying around. Um, so there's flies everywhere. And this is actually good compared to what it's been. Came in here not too long ago and there's like six or seven flies flying around in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some of this. Um, like they like to gather around the window. So I'm going to spray at the top of the window where people don't touch. And maybe on the sides of the window. Apparently this stuff is invisible. Has no odor. I don't know all the scientific stuff about it. If you want to look it up, I will leave a link in the description below to this product on Amazon. If you want to do some research on it, just to see exactly what it is and what it contains, all that good stuff. I'm going to be careful with it though. I will probably also spray some on the outside of that door. That's the door that gets used a lot. And it seems like where a lot of flies come in. I'm also in the backyard. Way back there at the back, you can see we have woods behind our house, and that's where I dump the dog stuff. I know there's flies back there. I'm actually going to spray some on the top of that chain link fence out there. Now, apparently, you can spray this around your dumpster and all that good stuff. I'm going to spray it there, too, because you throw your trash in there, and it attracts flies. I'm trying to keep flies from laying eggs and growing their families. That's one family we don't want to grow. Don't like flies around the house. So, anyway, I'm going to shoot some of this on there, and we'll see what happens. This is made by BASF. Keep out of reach of children. Don't let your kids get this. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to shoot a little bit up here. There's a dead fly right there. Probably one that I shot. This stuff is fairly high priced. I think it's overpriced. Maybe you don't have to use very much. I don't know. I don't know the exact term for it, but it's like near field attractant or something. So apparently if they're around five feet or so from this, it will attract them. Now they say it's odorless, but I can actually smell it. That's probably the aerosol part, but there's a fly going towards what I just smelled or <laughs> there's a fly going towards what I just sprayed. It is also what I just smelled. Let's see what happens here. Now he's going away from what I just sprayed. Going up, oh, going back down, oh, going up. So apparently, according to what I've heard, is if a fly gets on this stuff, it can kill them within a minute. Take that for what it's worth. But so far, this fly can't figure out where it wants to go. Now, according to BASF, this can last, after you spray it on, up to 30 days. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to put it through the tests and see. Now, this fly is not... It's not cooperating right now. Well, it just flew away. So, oh, there it, oh, it just landed on some. No, I don't think I sprayed there. I didn't. I sprayed on the sill. All right. Well, it's gone. That's over here on the counter. There's another one. I don't want to spray it on a plate. It was really close to that stuff and it did not attract that fly. Wait, here he is again. Or she. Come on, baby. Get on up there. I'm wondering if, I mean, it acts like it knows there's something in the area. It just can't figure out which way to go. It's getting closer. Oh, this could be it. 
nope it's got to get up on top of that i didn't want to spray on that lip because if we open the window which actually we never do i could spray a little there and see if that helps boy it starts to get up there and then it turns around and goes the other way let me spray a little bit on the fly swatter Put it back over here by the plate. There's one there, but it ain't getting on it. So far, it's not attracting them very well. Let's spray a little more over here. So there's two, oh, one's on it. There's one on it. Well, no, he's not. Come on, get down there, it's fly bait. You're supposed to want to eat that stuff. Oh, there's one on the fresh. Let's see what happens to that one. Look at that, he just fell. Now there's one on it up there. Well, another one landed on it. I don't know, maybe it has to sit for a while because now they're landing on it. We'll see. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to close this down and I'm going to come back in 20 minutes and see if I have any dead flies laying here. There were three of them flying around in this kitchen. So I'm going to see if I still have three flying around. There's one on it right there. And he's not doing too good right now. The problem with most of this stuff is they always say they can eliminate your fly problem, but it never eliminates it. It might kill some flies. Like if you watch my other video on the Bug MD fly zone, it did kill some flies, but I still had a lot of flies in the house. It didn't, it didn't just take care of all of them. So there's that critter right back there. Look, he ain't moving either. I'm getting really close to him. Oh, he just flew up, but he can't fly very much. I think it's going to kill him. Poor little thing. Not. All right, I'm going to come back in just a little bit, and we'll check on him. So apparently, that's what happens to him. Look at that guy going crazy. He's spinning in circles. There's the other two right over there. One there, right there, and one right there. Apparently they either haven't gotten into it or it hasn't taken effect yet, but that one's definitely not doing well. So he will probably bite the bullet. And we'll just give the others a little bit more time and see what happens. All right, I'll be back, but so far it hasn't happened as fast as I thought it should, especially after I think I saw at least two of them in that stuff. And there's only one that's going crazy right now, and he's been going crazy for a while now. Look at him go. What do you think, Sonny? I don't think we can get these flies. Can we get these flies taken care of? Huh? Can we? Can we? I think we can, can't we? Somehow. If I have to go back to the old fly swatter. See, there's a couple of them at the fly swatter now. And that guy is still going nuts. There's one I think maybe got into it. He's not spinning like the other, but look, he's just turning in a circle. So he may be getting the effects of it now. Um, it definitely is not within a minute. So if you're expecting that, you won't get it. But if you're expecting them to die, it looks like it will definitely do it if they can get in it. So my thing is, if you really want to think about it, one of the more frequent places to find flies is going to be in the kitchen. That's where they find all the food scraps and the trash is usually in there. Um, and I'm talking about inside the house, obviously outside there's other places, but inside is going to be the kitchen. Finding strategic places to put this without worrying about people getting into it is a little bit hard. Uh, maybe the index card part might work because I saw that you can spray it on an index card. Then you could set it in the corner or somewhere like that and you don't have to worry about at least the stuff getting on your countertop or, you know, things like that that people handle. I don't know if it's safe for that. I actually didn't read all the way through it, so use at your own risk. But it is apparently killing the flies. We'll just see how it works. I'm gonna leave this here for the moment. It's gonna seem like a split second to you, but when I come back, it's gonna be sometime later, either today, it might be tomorrow or the next day, and we're gonna see how this stuff holds up and if it actually kills the flies. And then we will just see how that goes and I'll let you know what I think at the end.
Well, I wanted to do a quick update today. It's been about a week since I've sprayed this stuff. And I tell you, I, so far, I like it. In fact, my wife even made the comment, yeah, I'm kind of impressed. Because yeah, flies can still get in, but they don't last long. As you can see from here, some flies got in. We had eight of our grandkids over a couple days after I sprayed this stuff. And uh, of course they leave the door open, go in and out. And a few flies got in, but no, they don't die immediately. But in a short period of time, we find them dead. And we're, we'd rather see them dead somewhere than flying around and messing things up. And then the next day we see a fly, a little bit later, we see it dead. And right now I don't have any flies in here and it's nice. So I think it actually works. I don't know that it's a miracle worker, but it does. It actually does the job that it says it'll do, other than maybe killing them within a minute because it doesn't do that, but it does kill them. So pretty happy with that. Should you run out and buy some of this? You know, I don't know. It's kind of expensive, but like I said, I sprayed one time. I still got a lot left in here. I honestly think if this lasts like they say it does for 30 days, the only thing I get through the summer months, I think I'll still be using the same can all of next summer as well. Uh, right now it's just now August. And so, yeah, anyway, if you're interested, I will leave a link down below for Amazon. If you want to give it a try, you know, it might be worth a shot for you. Just see if it works. I think it does well for us. So, I'm going to keep it around, I think, for now. Hey, if anything changes down the road, I'll do a review on it again and let you know that it just doesn't work. But so far, it's actually performed very well. I don't know that it'll work in a horse barn. I don't have one, but it works here. So anyway, take that for what it's worth. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. I really appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button. I appreciate that as well. And I pray that God blesses you all. And I hope you have a wonderful, flyless day.